This is Bill, and what we're going to do first in uh, getting ready to chop these roots apart of this, these grasses is they're pretty dusty. They've been sitting outside for a while, and you can see it's very dusty. And what will happen is when we move these and when we cut these, this material will fall apart because it's dusty. Now, it's a good clay ball, so that can work to our advantage, but it has to be wet, and that will hold the ball together better. So we're going to wet them down thoroughly. And it also helps keep the roots from drying out. And the important thing is to get it wet. It'll take a while to, to get this wet because it's clay. You give it a little water and then you go back, let it sink in so it just doesn't erode away. You want it to soak in. And you do this five or six times. And you can wet this, the balls out a little bit with a spray. That'll help. But get them thoroughly wet. It does make them heavier, but it makes it a lot easier to cut apart and keep it from breaking apart. Because you want to keep that ball, that root system, as much intact as you can. Okay. These grasses have been thoroughly wet out, and we've brought them over here into our potting area. And what we've done now is we've taken them, and we've cut them up into small pieces, and they're being potted. And uh, and they like to leave a little bit of free space in the pot packing the material in around the plant and as you can see there's some rocks and stones and fabric in there which they'll try and get out the best they can Well, you could get a get a deeper pot. And these have been wet out fairly well, so that the uh, the dirt holds together a little bit better without flaking all apart. That's why we wet them out to start with.
there you have it.